Hello guys and welcome to episode 40 of my Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia playthrough playing as East Anglia or now North Sea Empire on very hard difficulty. Today we are continuing to take on the Danes. Uh, we're looking to slaughter their king who's leading Fenrir's pack. Uh, once we do that we can take Lindclime, we can finish off Northumbra and then we can carry on north. We might also just take these couple settlements off of Orkneya because I mean they're all the way up here. Doubt they'll send navies all the way down or maybe they will just to be annoying, who knows. The only thing we're dealing with this turn is a little bit of loyalty problems. We're going to try and assassinate Anlaf next turn. Let's move on to that next turn, because there's not much else to do. We are going to be attacked here. But it's a 2v1, so... I don't know why they've done that. Not something I expected at all. But I guess I don't mean mind being on the defence with two armies. Be absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and manually fight this on the battle map. He is a nine star general, though, in terms of command. Look at that. Nine command. Pretty nuts. His units aren't as elite as we've seen before. The spearmen are relatively easy to deal with. It's going to be the berserkers and those huskars. That other problem. Can't underestimate them. Uh, my reinforcements are coming in from the left, so that's where we're going to start. I could probably use this sort of water here on my left flank. Might have these guys just kind of line up in the forest if I can. Let's just move the whole army over here. Spearmen! Spearmen! Right, these spears can just make up the line. State your orders. We'll have the archers here. Javelin. Definitely need these reinforcements. So imagine if they'd attacked me when I didn't have those reinforcements there. That would have just ended so ugly. So I'm going to have some men, like, fill this left side. I'm assuming we can't move on here, right? No. That is fine. Have those guys come over. Now there's some berserkers there. have a couple of archers probably here maybe even over here and then we can have three over here I don't know what troops are moving and which aren't honestly though I'm going to need some spears on that left side to bring those up I have some spears on the right Bring the archers. We can have these guys cover the archers as well. And my general, the extra general, can take that right side. I'm going to move this guy more to the left. We have some swordsmen spare. Okay, time to wait. Assuming they're going to attack me. I mean, they were the aggressor, so we're just going to kind of chill. Hope they come towards us. I 
going to bring these cav back behind my men because I'm a little bit wary about where it's sort of forcing them to move. If they come at me at a wing weird angle, then this could screw up my entire formation. <laughs> Let's have these three attack one unit. Those can attack the other. group, right? How are they going? They flee before our might. Alright, we smash those Viking scouts, which is good. We need to kill these ones now. Meanwhile, these guys can just charge forwards. We are being engaged across the entire line, but... I don't really mind too much. Alright, great axes versus great axes. I think this side, like these great axes, is just going to get killed. And honestly, uh, it's not something I really care about because those great axes, I kind of just need to replace them anyway. They've just been really, really awful. I and mean, just look at that. It's just absolutely useless. Alright, meanwhile, get the cavalry around the back. Uh, although that right flank is just going to utterly collapse. And we don't really have the troops there. Let's have the Berserkers go over to that right side. That's fine. Alright. It's one of the skirmish of those. Right, let's go two for each. Make sure to kill off their ranged forces. Uh, let's just overwhelm them on the front here. And that's pretty important. We just push the numbers in. Uh, these archers aren't quite getting the line of sight that I'd hoped, so I'm just going to bring them up like so. in their ranged forces, that's nice. The spearmen forming the second line are holding. Push forwards though from that side. Those Joms Vikings are pretty nasty sometimes. I think I'm going to use this opportunity to sort of run through the gap here. Flank, we're doing a fantastic job on the on the left at least. Are these javelins we're going to use to just wreck these Joms Vikings because they're proving to be an issue. Oh, we've actually been charged here by great axes. I've no idea how they managed to get there, but we'll have some of our and come back and get involved. Some horsemen in there. These archers need to fall back. I have my general. Hold the line. Our general is under attack. Archers! 
The battle is turning in our favor. Move it back. Yeah, all of those great axemen that have died are so useless. Unbelievable. Our men have rallied. Those horsemen Our move out. From the enemy. This is shameful. That's fine. Berserkers holding me very strong. They are leaving the field. Missiles away. The enemy is landing. Archers. Aim for enemy charge. Javelin. Javelin involved in melee. God. There we go, doing loads of damage now. The enemy general is dead. There we go. That's what we like to see. In a pretty nice battle, very large battle, the job is done, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to stop these archers from firing now. A lot of friendly fire otherwise. Engage and crush those mailed huskars. Crush those guys, crush those guys. Just everyone attack those guys. Uh, except for my archers, please. Right, let's make sure we run them down. We have plenty of cav to do so. Smash them. Lovely. Keep it sped up. Should take no time at all to finish things off. His mailed huskulls are destroyed. And that should do it. A close victory. Not a pirate victory, which is good. Otherwise, we could be dealing with worse war fervor, but a close one will do. Our Huskars died. Honestly, I think I'm just going to disband those Great Axemen. They're so bad. That's killed the king, though. Goodbye, Danish king. Right, we will take on those warriors. Lovely. And warfare with decreased once again. Right, Amund is dealing with lower states. That is fine. Let me just try and kill the dude and then I will try and give you an estate. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Refuses to die. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to give him an estate that I don't really want to.
Ah, oh, it's just annoying, isn't it? Let's give him Hallettford. This guy can get one towards command. Lovely. Time to take back this settlement. We'll sack that and take it. Looks like they fixed it up. Yeah. Made a bit of profit from that. Let's get rid of these great axemen. And I'm going to recruit myself some more. I think we'll get some more Danelaw Huskars still. I'm going to probably remove one of these though and replace them with archers. That takes us to 19. Maybe some extra swordmen in there would be nice. Cool. Alright, this one's leveled up. That's great. We also need to get him and a wife, so let's do that. Nope. Get our son a wife. very demanding apparently. That's not what I want. <laughs> God, this is taking a while. Okay. Right, anyway. Um, time for us to go around and take that settlement. Um, I'm very tempted to just go up this way. But I'm not sure if we'll be in range. Take Beb and Burr. Whereas next turn we, we will be if we just go straight towards it. I guess we can just do it this way. Because then when we take Bevan Burr, we're not going to be at war with these guys anyway, north of us. And we can then go up to Milos and back down. Not what I'm thinking. Let's go into Diplomacy. Surely these guys are going to start to actually like us. They actually hate us. Um... I don't know why they hate us for the military action, ac actions against the Danes, though. That seems a bit odd. Well, he hates empires, so maybe that's why. Who actually likes us? I'm, I'm assuming it's still the Irish Vikings. Yeah, these guys still like us. I think if we go to war with the Norse, we might ally them or something. Because it would be good to know where units are. Oh, that guy got command, but got minus two public order. I guess his zeal kind of counteracts that, but still. Bit of a weird trait to get. We have 4,000 to spend, but I'm not going to use it to upgrade anything. What we are going to do, however, is take on this siege. I'm very tempted to auto-resolve this one. Let's go auto-resolve. Otherwise it just is a bit tedious. I'd rather just get it out of the way. Yeah, that was good enough. And we're just going to occupy it. Okay, good. Well, that's going to sort out North Mias because the thing we were dealing with was bad public order. And it looks like we're going to be able to fix that, which is nice. I'm going to take away this tithe barn and we're going to replace it with a water mill since we have both industry and farming. Right, the Sons of Warden. I think it's time for them to sort of head back up north, so we'll 
take the 50% and we will fortify. And then hopefully in the next turn we might be able to like hit it here for wick or something. But what I am going to do, maybe keep the cash. Like I'm not sure much worth upgrading. Maybe we could just go for the Royal Guild Hall here. Trade's definitely going to become less of a thing as we move on through this campaign because there's going to be no one to trade with. <laughs> We've quite simply destroyed most people. There are some extra slots in these settlements. Maybe we could take advantage of that here. I think I'm going to go for a tavern. And then what we can do is uh, upgrade these mines a bit more. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put the cash in there. Building requires repair, doesn't matter. And we've sorted out public order. Wonderful. Let's move on to the next turn. We're currently now plus six with Here King English. It'll be interesting to see what the bonuses will be. Uh, where was that army? It's like a new army popped out. That's going to be really irritating, isn't it? I guess we'll have to maybe recruit our own general. But it's just going to cause more loyalty issues, isn't it? Ah, oh, second son has come of age. He is a good governor. I guess he can just remain as a statesman for now. You want to try and kill off this chap. I'm going to do the wife. Extra command and governance. She's renowned. One with like plus influence would be nice, but she's okay. It's not bad. And for now, I think it's okay, right? She's 30 years old. Because that gives him the extra command. Governance doesn't really get affected because I think he has a minus governance thing going on. But maybe if we become king... We can try and get a well-connected wife. Right, this guy. Not going to want her. We want a wife for Eamond. And we don't really want her. God damn. His wives are so hard to find. Go to the next governance level. Try and get this guy a wife while we're here. I think that's fine. Gives him extra governance. Does give him extra influence, but at the end of the day, the extra 10% bonus to all income is very nice. What are the most profitable these days? Pretty sure we have governors on all of the most profitable. Yeah, for sure. Right, time to take that settlement. Yes, indeed. Ooh, sack it for 8,000. Don't mind if I do. What's in there? Wow, a level 5 trade port and level 4 lumberyard. Very nice indeed. I this doesn't make us a lot of money. I guess it's just like the corruption so damn high. Minus 89%. Maybe what we need to do once we've got the Masters of Missile Warfare. Try and lower that somehow. Though we've already got the minus corruption in all provinces.
Is there any others that give minus corruption? I'm not sure there is. Doesn't look like it. No. Oh well. The only way we can lower it is with governors, and we're not getting a governor anytime soon. We pledge our service. Right, time for our son to Wait prove himself in battle. We're going to go and siege Dinford. We're just short of that. That's really frustrating. But either way, the brigands of Ragnarok can go and destroy the king of Northumbra. Then we'll go and take Lindslin. Uh, this army could actually start the siege. Let's do that. Then we can just have this army reinforced after we've destroyed the Northumbrians. Ragnar's Revenge is good to go. Let's uh, take Bevenberg. Right, that army is good. Only question is... Uh, we want to get another army, don't we? So how do we do that? Actually, we probably won't need one. Right, we've got this army here. Yeah, we don't need one. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Thank God for that. Let's get a water mill in that spot, since we do have quite a lot of farm income. But what we should be doing really is investing into places where we have barely any corruption. So for example, in our capital. So yeah, let's just invest here. That is absolutely fine. And I think we end the turn. Ideally I want to stop this war with the Danes when I can, but I need to wipe them out for ultimate victory. Hmm, Gunhild has died of natural causes. Was he a leader? I don't know. Either way, um, we have a lot of estates. It looks like Seward is asking for one. We will try and assassinate his cousin again. There we go. Lovely. And we'll give you his estate. Wait, which one did I give him? It did come back to me, didn't it? Yeah, it must have been Turas Asig. Cool. Alright, that'll do. Lovely jubbly. We will bring you glory. Time for this chap to carry on. Smash them. Time for this army to we zoom up. Uh, this one going to be attacking here. Very nice. And say goodbye to the Northumbrans. I would kind of like to play that out, but... Just daughter resolves too far in my favour, and I play out almost every battle anyway. We're going to ransom and release those guys, and that's going to increase our Hink English even more. We're nearly at the next rank of that, which is good. We can now max out his command as well. It takes him up to nine. Oh, he's a good general now. 
Very nice. Now let's just get him out of attrition. Yeah, it's not him in attrition anyway. I thought it was. Apparently not. And, uh, well, we can get on with the attack at Lindslin. I think that's how you pronounce it. It makes more sense than Lindklein, since the L isn't before the Y. But uh, with that being said, that has unfortunately been my time, so I am going to have to leave it here. So moving forwards, we are going to be uh, taking Steenford. Let's just uh, set that up while I'm here. Then we're going to be taking Lindslin. And uh, yeah, wipe out the Northumbrians once and for all, take out the Danes. Then we'll have to look at a way to take on the Norse. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.